guess I've been playing polo for over 20 years. Um, I've had a great association with Garth's Polo Club. Still very committed to Garth's, but Cowdery is, is pretty well my home. I decided that this part of the world was, was beautiful and unique. The environment is amazing. And I've made some great friends here, uh, and I love it. I've known Adrian now for years, and, he, uh, and um, he's a very enthusiastic supporter of the game. And um, he approached me about a year ago now to help him put together a, a team to be competitive for this year. He told me that he had new sponsorship from Silver Spring, and that um, you know he wanted me to acquire some horses for him and also help him manage the team. So we discussed it during the winter, and we engaged um, John Paul, Rookie, and Rob to play this year. And I think, um, all things being equal, we've made um, good progress this year. You know, Rome's not built in a day, but um, I think overall it's gone very well. I mean, it's it's a world-class facility where we get to play down here in Cowdery, and you know, we're very fortunate this year that our team team is based based here, and um, you know, re really, really lucky. Um, I've been coming to Cowdery Park probably for seven or eight years, playing various tournaments, um, and was obviously lucky enough to, to win the Gold Cup in 2003. To repeat that again would be nice one day, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a great, great place to come to, and um, always the fields are fantastic and, and the competition is, is fierce. So. You know, we've got something really good to build on here and hopefully uh, we can we can make it work again next year and uh, you know, this is our first year together so you know, I think time together is going to be, um, we're going to be able to you know, go to the next level. You know, it's the first season this team's been together uh, and I have to say that, that I've been very impressed with the way it's performed. Uh, you know, it takes, it takes a while for teams to gel. Um, and I think my guys, John Paul, Rob and Rookie, have played exceptionally well. Uh, and I think we've had a great season one way or another. We've, we've been pretty close to, to being on the money, as they say. You know, we, we were very strong in the, in the zone games, in our league games, which we, we won three out of four. So we, we went into the quarterfinals with good momentum. You know, I think, I think looking at it now, you know, we've had a few days to reflect on it. We, we had a good season. and. And I'm sure that we'll be you know, bigger and better in the future for, for, what, for going through what we did. We're actually leading after a minute in the, in the last chucker, 11-10, and then we just lost our momentum. You know, the rhythm went the other way. Uh, a couple of unlucky lucky things happened, and before you know it, we're down by a couple, and, and it was all over. Polo, that's the way it goes, and and you know we'll, as I said, we'll we'll learn from it and hopefully be bigger and better for the you know in the future. We run this uh, very commercially, uh, and Martin, who, who's uh, responsible for uh, our horse program, is constantly on the lookout uh, for the right horses to bring them into um, our organisation, uh, train them, climatise them, uh, and see where we go. Well, what's happened is we've just finished playing in the Gold Cup at Cowdery, and um, uh, we're basically trying to assess how the horses have finished the high goal season. What we did this morning was we, we got the vet to come around and trot up all the horses just to make sure they were going into the winter without any niggles. Um, and just make sure that they're just happy in themselves so they can be turned away and see you again in six months' time. This is a really special mare. She's been an amazing polo pony. Um, and actually we've uh, taken an embryo from her to preserve the bloodline. Um, she's right at the height of her career. Apart from the fact that she's got an amazing brain, She's also an athlete. You know, you have to look at it in context the, the same way as you have a Tiger Woods in golf, you have a Caracas in polo. If a horse is, is in good health, if it's very fit, if it's ridden well and you've got a, you know, you've got a good rider, you've got tack that fits well, 
and they're playing on good grounds, you can limit a lot of the, the risks to them. But um, you're right, it is a very physical, demanding sport. We were pleased, you know, our horses stood up really well overall and um, obviously we can all improve individually again because the level of horses, particularly, you know, this year is, just seems to get higher and higher. Um, so it's something we have to focus on as individuals, as a team. And, um, you know, we'll go away in the winter and we'll work on that and, and come back, you know, stronger next year. We're already um, planning for next year. Uh, you know, we have to consider what we need to do with uh, the horses we're going to be bringing through for the Gold Cup next year. We have to consider the requirements of our sponsor, Silver Spring, uh, and we have to put our program together, and that's a lot of planning. I think for the, the first season together, um, you know, we've, we, we've, we've made progress, and I don't see why we, you know, I don't see why we can't go all the way next year.